happy Saturday. Today I'm talking about getting honest. It's time to get honest. What's up? This is Actors Daily Bread. I am Christine Horn, professional actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors. And this is Actors Daily Bread where you get life coaching tips, acting tips, audition tips, right? <laughs> this is episode 82. I'm so excited about that. If you have missed any of these episodes, this is your first time watching. I want to welcome you. So all my replay watchers who are going to watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers, love you guys. <laughs> Uh, it's been a busy morning. I have been up, as you can see, fully beat at this hour, just uh, taping videos for my website and all kinds of stuff. So, But it popped in my head. I wanted to just share with you today about getting honest with yourself, about your career, about what you're doing in your life. Because I hear from tons of actors, I get so much so much email and so much, uh, so many messages from you guys. I totally love that you are interacting with me. Speaking of interaction, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Just let me know you're here. Even if you don't let me know you're here, just like this video so that Facebook lets more of these videos filter through the algorithms. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. But it's time to get honest. And what I hear from a lot of you is I'm not getting enough auditions, or my age is not doing this, or my manager is not doing this, or I'm feeling stuck because. I live in a small town or I can't do what I want to do and, and I need to do more and I wish they would do more for me. And I hear you. We all want more, right? I think we, we, we live in a state of wanting more. And when I say it's time to get honest, I want you to, for real, no, one, no one's going to be in your head but you. How much are you doing for your career? I once had a private um, business coach who would ask me anytime we got back together, you know, he held me accountable. I paid a hefty sum to for have him coach me every month and, you know, life would happen. You know, I was working and I was acting, auditioning and just dealing with life. And sometimes I would show up to my next session with him and be like, oh, I didn't make those sales or I didn't make that call or I didn't do it. Or I didn't get around to it. You know, I was so busy and he would just sit there and look at me and he would say, Christine, did you do all that you possibly could for your business this month? Honestly, did you, did you do all that you possibly could? And it was hard to say, but the answer was always no. The answer was no. The, I had excuses. I was busy. I had three auditions this week. I had to memorize. You know, I had to work or I blah, 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 right? And I'm not saying it to be insensitive because I have been in these shoes and I'm in these shoes almost every day. I have to challenge myself on a constant daily uh, uh, daily level to make sure I am doing what I say I I need to do. So yeah, I have the accountability of you, my community, my audience, and these Actors Daily Breads to push you, but know that I'm also pushing myself. In my Get Book Mastermind group for actors, I tell every all of my uh, participants in the mastermind that, look, every, every strategy, every marketing technique, I am doing as well. Because though I am here at this stage of my career, there's still stages I have to get to that I desire to get to. And I know the same is for you. So if you are finding yourself saying, my agent isn't blank, my manager isn't blank, I haven't had any auditions lately, you know, I haven't blank, blank, blank. What have you done for you? How could you be your own manager? How could you be your own agent? Back when I used to coach with Dallas Traver, shout out to her and her community. You know, she would always ask, you know, if you were your agent, what is it that you want your agent to do? And what part of that can you do for yourself? So what does that look like for you if you're watching? Like, Christine, what are you talking about? I don't even have an agent. Or maybe I do and they don't send me out. Well, what shows do you want to be on? What, what is your next level? What is your goal? So if you have a really a, a desire to be on a certain show, let's just say for fun, for fun, you want to be on Queen Sugar. Who have you connected to in, that is involved in the show? Have you done the research? Who are the directors, the showrunners? Right? Who are some of the producers? How are you reaching out to them? Are you using social media, which is at your fingertips? Are you putting out your own content on YouTube, on Facebook? <laughs> right? You know, some of you are sitting around saying, man, I, I want all I want to do is act. I just want to work. But what are you doing right now? What did you do yesterday for your career? 
you think, you know, I, I, I'm always tripped out, you know, singers who want to sing, piano players who want to play the piano. They don't just say, man, I, they stare at the piano over there in the room like, man, I wish I could play piano, but no one's hiring me to play the piano. No, they don't do that. Dancers don't say, man, I wish I could just dance. Now, if they want to dance, they could just, hell, just start dancing. Turn on YouTube. You see all these great videos on Facebook where dancers are killing it just in the dance studio rehearsing. And then other videos viral has millions of hits. And I'm not saying you have to go viral. But what I am saying is to take back the control that you have for the art that you have been blessed with. If you want to act, act. Turn on your computer and act. Right? Who is calling me? Dismiss. <laughs> no phone calls right now. I'm live. So today I want to challenge you. This weekend I want to challenge you. If you're finding yourself saying, my agent isn't doing blank. And if you're resonating with this, just give me some hearts, some likes. Even if you don't comment and I do reply to every comment. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Facebook gives me points when, when I get likes. It gets to go through the ethers and the algorithms and all that stuff that I don't fully understand. But I'm trying to. <laughs> But maybe you can write a scene for yourself. If you don't think you're a good writer, connect. I hear a lot of actors say that too. Christine, I'm not a good writer. I can't write something for myself. Okay, so are we just done with the whole thing now? We're just going to say, I'm not a good writer. Oh, well, now I got to wait and sit. Hopefully someone books me in something. Or do you get out here? Do you connect with friends? There are tons of freaking Facebook groups with nothing but actors. I have one, it's called the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook Group. It's totally free, join it. There are other people in there who are doing things. You don't even have to be in the same city to connect with the writer. You know, join some groups. There are a lot of indie film groups. Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, stop making excuses. Stop making excuses. I know we're not all good at everything, right? I know we're not all good at everything. Hey, Tanika, thank you for watching. So if you're not good at everything, none of us are, reach out to people who are. Right? If I'm not good at video editing, I'm going to find a video editor on Fiverr, on Craigslist. I'm going to ask some of my friends. I don't think enough of you are using your resources. If you actually took the time, I dare you to put a Facebook post today saying, I'm looking for a writer to help me shoot a short film. I dare you to do that today. And you will be surprised at who responds and who reaches out. There are things you can be doing. There are people you can be connecting with. But understand that also this acting thing is a, is a, I keep saying this in so many videos, but it is a journey. It is not a sprint, right? I plan on doing this till the breath is gone, right? So you stop assuming this is going to just, you're going to, I've done five things this month, so I should have this. It doesn't work that way. You have to just keep showing up for yourself. And as you look to build relationships with movers and shakers in this industry, and that's stuff that I teach. Hey, Van Zell, welcome. Thank you for catching this live. So as you, as you look to connect with movers and shakers on some of the shows you want to be on, also remember that they are human. And I get this too, and I, it starts to, you know, I know I put myself out here every day, and I'm open, and I love hearing from you all. But sometimes I get emails from people who have never connected with me before, asking me for a favor and it feels weird it feels icky imagine someone meeting you for the first time hey Vanzel. hey Tanika look can you connect me with um your friend Johnny because Johnny he knows this, uh, this producer I want to get to know you'd be looking like I just met who who are you why should I do you a favor why should I put my name on the line for you I just met you there's no trust there's no history so that's a mistake, too, that some of us as actors and as, you know, people who are trying to push forward, we're so anxious to make relationships. We're so anxious to get somewhere. We don't realize we're coming off as moochers and leechers. We're not being genuine. Never forget that casting directors, producers, directors, writers, they are people just like you. They want to be finessed. They want to be treated with some respect. You don't just meet people and ask for favors. Relationships take time to build. So as you sit at home, thank you for the likes, thank you for the hearts. As you sit at home and think about what it is you want to do for your career, I want you to think about what you can do. Okay, really get honest. Some of you are like, I just want to act. Okay, on what? 
What do you want to be on? Do you want to be on a, in a medical drama? Do you want to be on a, uh, on a, you want to play a cop? Do you want to be on a sitcom? Do you want to do something for Tyler Perry? Or do you want to do like a live studio audience on NBC? Get really clear so that you know what your next steps are. And it's not just about my agent is not doing this to so my manager isn't doing this, or I don't have, have access to. This is what I coach my actors on all the time. And if you are interested in my mastermind group, click the link below. It's $20 a month for weekly coaching with me. I'm going to let that go. But this is what you have to understand. Unless you know what the goal is, you cannot plan your strategy. Does that make sense? So saying you just want to act isn't enough. I want to do a feat, an indie feature. That's specific. Now we can start reaching out to some indie film directors. You know, there's a Sundance website. There's South by Southwest website. There's people in your neighborhood who have a camera and want to shoot. College kids who are in film school want to shoot. They need that stuff. Get on Actors Access. You know what I mean? So you have to get very clear on what your goal is. And I think that's the big thing. So today when I say get honest with yourself, for real, no one's going to know. Just sit with yourself at some point today and be like, I have not been doing enough. I've been working my day job, my night job, or I've been hanging with my friends, or I've been spending my money on this stuff when I could be investing in my career. You know, maybe I'm clubbing every week and I could save that $500 I've spent in the past month on drinks and food and produce something for myself. Every one of you watching me, I know has a cell phone. I'm filming this right now on a cell phone. What's stopping me? You know, if I was like, I just don't have a reel, or I don't have anything to showcase myself, create a YouTube channel where you put monologues up every week until you get some actual bookings. You have more power than you think. Just like a piano player needs to rehearse every day, he's not waiting to get a gig to rehearse. And that's another thing, I'm gonna wrap up. One more thing, <laughs> y'all know how I get, get passionate. Don't wait for your audition when you finally do get an opportunity to rehearse. I once worked with the director, shout out to Padre Harris in Atlanta. He used to say when we were doing theater, he'd be like, don't come to my rehearsal to practice. You practice at home. <laughs> Rehearsals for rehearsal, right? You know, like, don't w let your audition be the only time that you're practicing your craft. Because at that point, it's too late. This needs to be something you're working on all the time with a coach, in a class, just with a group, a group of friends. You know, Tina Fey from Saturday Night Live, she says in her, and when I saw one of her memes, she was just like, look, if you're an actor who's not getting work, Get a couple of friends together and host a reading in your living room and invite people. Do something. You have more power than you think. So, huh, exhale. I know that was a lot, but that's it starts to come up because look, I want the best for you, and I want you to, I want you to achieve your dreams. And I want you to know that this industry will make you believe that you don't have any power. And so my goal for my community is to empower you to know that there is more that you can be doing. And that no one can stop you from creating your own YouTube channel, your own Facebook channel. It can be the Van Zell show. It can be the Christine Horn show. It can be the Shamika show. You have that power now. We are so lucky in this day and age of 2017 where we have this technology. And if you don't know how to do it all, hire somebody who can. Reach out to a friend. Barter. Do something. Get honest and get going. Have an amazing rest of the day. I am Christine Horn, your life and career coach. This has been Actors Daily Bread. Don't be stingy. Share this video with someone who you think could help. It could help. And if you are interested in having me coach you every week and you can't afford my one-on-one -on -one coaching, click the link below and join the Get Book Mastermind group for actors where I give you live coaching every week, live Q&As, and a private Facebook community. And uh, I do all the work with you because I'm trying to get to the next level too. Have a good day. Bye.